Filming you. You're what? Filming you. We're going to see the puppies. <laughs> yes, we're going to see the puppies. Are you excited? We got a lot of land out here. But we're the end of the Tongass National Rainforest. Most people don't really think much of rainforest in Alaska, but you guys have been learning different throughout your cruise, I'm sure. You've had a decent tour guide. But again, we are the end of the rainforest, and we'll actually cruise out of this. So hopefully once we get over the mountain away from the coast today, uh, the sun could come out, we might see it, it's very rare, you can see I'm pretty big. And where the train will stop and let you guys off, we'll be right here at the depot, over to our left, we will, we will cruise by and see it in a few moments. Once we start heading up the mountain, I can point some things out to you today. But a lot of these buildings are original buildings from 1898, which is pretty neat. And they're very well protected, even if you wanted to paint them or modify them in any way, which you usually can't, you have to go through the historic district. Someone broke into a, a jewelry store last year trying to steal something. Little did they know that was a federal offense. It was a felony because it is a historic district. So they got way more than they bargained for on that. So, anyway. Obviously, they're not the same retailers as they were in 1898. Actually, Skagway now is considered a woman's paradise and a husband's nightmare, as that was actually in 1898 when it was originally built. That was a school for girls here in Skagway. It's called the McCabe College for Girls. It went bankrupt eight months after it was open, actually. Education is not our priority here in Skagway. It was a pretty interesting combination of business. It was a bakery on the first floor and a brothel on the second floor. This so was a wonderful bed and breakfast, you're right. Harding Glacier. Named after Tanya Harding because she's cold as ice. <laughs> Strong.
yeah, but coming back. It's my office. I just travel to work. Six hours, yeah. running. Yeah, six to eight, then resting. Then running, <laughs> resting. So sometimes if it's very cold, like last year in the Iditarod, it's minus 50. They're wearing these coats all the time. I didn't know they grew them here. I didn't either. Is that yours? Yeah, you take it that one home. Oh, yeah. soft, eh? The desert is now. Right. I like the way his ears are tipped in black. Nice. And this one goes down, and this one stands up. Oh, uh, so cute. So cute. Do you want to get down? 